Have you ever uploaded a video to YouTube and thought, why does it look so much worse than what I edited in DaVinci Resolve? The sharp details are gone, colors look muddy, and suddenly your professional video looks like it was filmed in 2008. This is one of the biggest reasons creators lose viewers. Bad video quality makes people click away. But here's the thing, it's not your camera, and it's not your editing. It's the codec YouTube forces on your video. And if you don't fix this, every single upload will keep looking blurry and unprofessional. In this video, I'll show you the difference between codecs, why YouTube ruins your footage, and the exact export settings you need in DaVinci Resolve before I show you the exact export settings. Let's first look at the different codecs. On the right, you're looking at the original export straight out of DaVinci Resolve. And on the left, you'll see what happens when I change just a few export settings. Notice how much sharper and cleaner it looks? That's the codec at work. <clears throat> so, what is a codec? Think of it as a compressor and decompressor for video. Here's a comparison. H.264 is the most common, but it compresses the most, so you lose detail. H.265 is more efficient. Smaller file size, same quality, but slower to export. And ProRes? Huge file sizes, but the cleanest quality, because it barely compresses. Now here's the catch. No matter what you upload, YouTube always re-encodes your video. At 1080p, YouTube often gives you the older AVC codec, which looks worse. But if you upload at 1440p or higher, YouTube usually switches to VP9, or even AV1, much sharper and cleaner. All right, so how do we actually fix this inside DaVinci Resolve? First, go to the Deliver tab. For format, choose MP4 or MOV. For codec, stick with H.264 or H.265 if your computer supports it. Next, set your resolution. Even if your footage is only 1080p, upscale it to 1440p or even 4K. Why? Because YouTube gives higher resolutions a much better codec. For bitrate, use at least 30 to 40 megabits per second for 1440p and 60 to 80 megabits per second for 4K. If you don't mind larger files, you can also export in ProRes or DNxHR. Once you upload, you'll notice the difference instantly. Hit subscribe for more editing tips and catch you in the next video.